another block that we can do in our in our layout is using the spacer now the spacer in itself has options uh, we can make it something that is just two pixels and we can give it even a class and then change its color so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to update this I'll move it up update that and then I'm going to reload this page let's go and see visually what it does you will see that it has given us space here we have a spacer which has about 20 pixels in height so it's helping us space our content and that's what the spacer does equally in the in the layout elements in the layout blocks we have a separator now this one uh, works a little different compared to what we have here as the spacer the spacer adds space while the separator in itself uh, adds a proper horizontal line so if we update this and come back and reload our page here on the front end you're actually going to realize we have a whole long line that's cutting across now this would be useful if you had lots of content uh, in terms of words and you wanted to separate it so the the line space the 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 separator would do a good job with the separator you have an option of changing the color uh, you can add some styles you can make it in two dots which are just three dots or you can have it to be a very wide line or you can have it simply a fraction of your of your space so you can either use the graphical interface here just to describe this uh, describe what you want your separator to be or you can use the drop down uh, to do that